Welcome to 2019 and thank goodness it is finally here because as we've been told Harry Potter Wizards Unite will be released this year. Now I don't anticipate it suffering any big delays that will take it past 2019 and while the exact release date still remains a mystery a lot of people have theories. My personal theory is that we are looking at a summertime release for the game with an early spring beta time. While a lot of people who are going to create content for this game are busy breaking down the two trailers that we already have, I'm actually gonna go back into the past and tell you why I think this is going to be the one item that is going to absolutely set apart Wizards Unite from the rest of augmented reality games that are currently on the market. So what do we actually know about Wizards Unite? Not a lot, honestly. But what we do know is what Niantic has said. And ahead of the release of this game, they have said that it will pioneer all new technology and gameplay mechanics. Okay. They also want this game to take advantage of its full AR platform. Additionally, they have already said players will learn spells, explore their real world neighborhoods and cities to discover and fight legendary beasts, as well as team up with others to take down powerful enemies. Now this sounds a lot like Pokemon Go, where you team up to take down raid bosses and things of that nature. Obviously a big component to Niantic is the fact that they want you to get out and explore your surroundings and do it in a group. So I don't anticipate this game being something where you can sit at home and play successfully. Other than that, Niantic has remained mum on what to expect out of this game recently. But I think they were actually giving clues away last year. And I'm not just talking about last year, November, when they announced that they were working on Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Rather, I'm talking even before that, I think that in some interviews, they gave away some important clues as to what we can expect in Wizards Unite. If we go back to a September 2017 panel discussion hosted by TechCrunch, where the CTO of Niantic, Phil Kesslin, talks about augmented reality, one of the things that he says on this panel is that people don't walk around with their phones like this when playing AR games, and he's exactly right. Like, at worst, you'll see someone holding their phone down off to the side. They might glance up and look at it for a second to, if you're playing Pokemon Go, to spin a ball. If you're playing Jurassic World Alive, you might hold it up for just a moment in order to dart a dinosaur. But for the most part, part of the AR immersion experience is lost because when you're just walking around, you can put your phone down to your side until you get to the next location where you know an event or say uh, a darting or a Pokemon is or a gym you have to battle. But what he did say could help with the immersion experience and when we're talking about augmented reality and augmented reality games, it's all about being in a different world or a different reality. And paraphrasing what he said is that audio was an untapped resource that has huge potential. That's why I think sound and headphones are going to be the thing that sets Wizards Unite apart from all other augmented reality games currently on the market. And I think Niantic has already hinted at this. I'm going to replay for you just a clip from the very first teaser trailer that we received on Wizards Unite some like six weeks ago. And what I want you to pay attention to, and you're probably going to actually want to put on headphones for this, is I want you to listen to the sound. What you had in this clip right here is sound. The, the wizard or the witch pops into this alleyway and what she notices is sound coming from, not in front of her, but maybe back, I hope I'm getting my left and rights correct here, back and to her left. And if you listen to the sound again, you can hear the sound shift in your ear channels from like back left over to the right and it grows more faint as if it's moving away from our witch in this clip.
Now I could be reading way too much into this, but I honestly think that when they first gave these interviews, they didn't know that the game was going to be this big of a secret. And so as we've come closer to release date, they're very tight-lipped on anything potentially new coming to the game. But I think when they were first working on the game, they were super excited about the potential of new technology with augmented reality and maybe let it slip that one of their big elements that they wanted to add to this game was going to be the sound element. And before you think I've completely gone out of my mind on this, in September when this interview with TechCrunch first happened, it actually got quite a bit of coverage because it was something completely new that people hadn't thought anything about. And with the release of Ingress Prime, which is kind of a rebuild of Niantic's original game, Ingress, they actually added some sound cues into the game, but it is reported that they did not go full bore and they left some stuff in their back pocket. I think this stuff is going to come into play with Wizards Unite. And if you're wondering why you haven't really heard anything about sound as being the next frontier of augmented reality games, that was so long ago that it has been buried by several other news cycles. And at the time, Wizards Unite had not been announced as a game that was being worked on, so I think a lot of this information kind of got swept to the side or maybe overlooked. Furthering the case, for audio clues to be part of the augmented reality experience of Wizards Unite is the fact that scientific study has shown that when you have a strategy or a shooter based game, and I do believe Wizards Unite is going to be more of a strategy type game, reaction time is increased up to 50% when the introduction of audio clues are added into the game. Furthering the case for audio to be this next frontier for Wizards Unite is that it is a lot more widely accepted now for people to be walking around with AirPods in their ears. If you are in any major city and walk around any kind of a downtown area, any kind of a tourist area, you are bound to see several people walking around with some kind of a earphone plugged into their ear. Now that that is more widely accepted, people will be more inclined to play a game which relies on audio clues and less time staring at your phone which really makes sense with the mission of Niantic, which is to have people get out there and explore and not be staring at their phones the whole time. Then again, these are just my ideas and maybe I'm reading way too much into everything, but I really think that I might be onto something here. Of course, I would think that though, right? It's my idea, even though it's not really my idea. And there were several people who have had this idea, maybe just not applied it to Wizards Unite. But at the end of the day, I can really see a gameplay feature where when the app is running, it doesn't have to be in your face because as I've said, nobody plays an augmented reality game, really, or any game with their phone directly in front of their face all the time, but rather you can have the game running in the background, put in headphones and maybe be alerted to when there is danger nearby via audio clues. But this is just my idea. What do you guys think of this idea? Like I said before, I'll put links to the sites that I gathered my information and research from, but I wanna have a conversation with you guys. Do you think that audio is going to be part of Wizards Unite? I can't wait for the release of this game and I can't wait to have a discussion with you guys about the potential for this groundbreaking new element to mobile gaming. That's all I've got for this one. So until next time.